Hello, welcome back to Student News Network. It's great to be back. Today is Friday, January 7, 2022. Now to the weather with Braylon. Thanks, Ella. We've woken up this morning to more cold winter temperatures. Today's weather is sunny and cold with a high of just 56 degrees and a low tonight of 42. Tomorrow's going to be partly cloudy and a little warmer with a high of 67 and a low of 61. Sunday, there's a 90% chance of thunderstorms with a high of 71 and a low of 55. That's all for the three-day forecast. Now back to Ella with today's lunch choices. Thanks, Braylon. Today we have a choice of ranch baked chicken with mac and cheese, entree salad, or cheeseburger. The sides are french fries, yeast roll, baked beans, and chilled peaches. Silas is waiting with our joke of the day. Thank you, Ella. My New Year's resolution is to stop procrastinating. But I'll just wait until tomorrow to start. Back to you, Ella and Braylon. Thank you, Silas. Sounds like it's going to be a while until you start that resolution. Moving on to today's birthday, Aiden Anderson and Haley Gray are celebrating their birthdays today. Happy birthday. Time for shoutouts. Miss Needham's class has been working really hard. A's on her language DA2 are Macy Delahousie, Lucy Wood, Chloe Fenning, Elias Roy, and Destiny Merritt. Perfect scores are Anaya Anderson, Amelia Barron, Isabella Chevalier, Michael De Delgado Barres, Angel, Angel Jackson, Aubrey Lee, Aiden Mock, M Miguel Paniqui, Paniagua, Jada Abston, Hugo Chan, Ramirez, and Carl Gray. Miss Fairchild had a few A's on her science CA3. There are Isabel Shavaria, Michael Delgado Barres, Jaden Felisano, and Amy. Gonzalez Barrero. Congrats, guys! Keep up the hard work this year. Up next is our $5 vocabulary word. Edwin is on our special assignment with our $5 vocabulary word. Hi, guys. I'm here with Nurse Tally with the $5 vocabulary word of the day, variant. Nurse Tally, can you help us with the definition of the word variant? Sure, I can. Variants are slightly different versions of a virus. Take the coronavirus, for example. That's the virus that causes what? COVID-19. Um, once a virus gets into your body and it reproduces in your body's cells, they don't always make perfect copies of themselves. So often those er errors or mutations is what we call them, the structure of the virus. Those mutations change the way the virus behaves. Um, once it changes, they make change of how fast the virus spreads, how easily you can catch it, um, how serious the symptoms can be, and also how well the vaccine works. Um, if there are a handful of mutations, it's labeled as a variant, like we talked about. And if the virus has changed a lot, it's called a strand. Um, once the virus stops spreading, it also stops mutating. So the key is to stop in new variants of the coronavirus is to keep following the public health recommendations regarding wearing masks, washing your hands, social distancing, and getting the vaccine. That's good to know. Thank you, Nurse Tally, for all you do with help to help with COVID-19 and all our illnesses. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Edwin and Nurse Tally. That's exactly what we are talking about today for our future story. So thanks for defining it for us. A hot topic in the news today is the recent surge in coronavirus cases. Mississippi had a one-day record high number of cases on January 5th at 7,079. A COVID variant is a slightly different version of the original COVID. There are exactly 12 variants as of right now, but new ones are popping up daily. You may ask, how did all these variants suddenly appear out of nowhere they the answer is that various mutate when they spread for example during christmas different family members got together to reunite and party and every time the virus rec replicates it has the potential to change just a little bit 
random COVID spikes be began appearing right after the holidays. Experts say that you should get the vaccine and get tested for COVID before going to any kind of party or large gathering. Omicron is one of the main variants being spread right now. Scientists are worried that Omicron is more contagious than other variants. There are many ways to prevent these variants, like wearing masks, staying six feet apart, and getting the vaccine. Whether or not you agree or disagree with these re recommendations for safety, we should all agree to do our part to stop the spread. Stay safe out there. Sadly, that's all the time we have. Thank, thank you for joining us for Student News Network. Have a great day. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.